Need race. Ace Five Studios has race. Okay, so you want to animate a cable and you probably run into your first set of problems. So the first thing that's probably going to come into your mind if you have a cable like this and you wanted to animate it along a spline like this, you're going to be like, well, I'll use spline wrap. And you get spline wrap and you get this kind of deformation <laughs> of the head of it. And you're like, that's not really what I want. So then you're like, well, maybe I can do spline wrap on the cable and then on the head of it, I can do an align to spline tag. So here we have this align to spline tag and we have spline wrap. And, you know, you set it up here to be correct. And then you set it up here to be together. But in the middle, you kind of get this wonky thing happening. And you can spend some time evening out the keyframes and making it work. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. And then especially if you want to apply it to a different spline, you have to, you know, select this guy and you have to select the spline wrap and you have to change the spline and then you have to redo the timing. And it's not fun. So the next step you could do is you could use a tracer. So for example, when you press play, basically I just have the head doing a, um, a line to spline and it's just being offset. So when you press play, you have the cable following behind, which is great. Uh, but the problem is firstly, you can't scroll back because it just remembers where it is. And there's no caching option on the tracer. So not super convenient. And as a bonus, if you apply a checkerboard, if you have a texture on it, not just a single color, um, if you apply a checkerboard to it, you'll see that while it plays, it'll actually stretch the texture. So that's also not good. So let's see how to do this correctly. Let's open our file here. Now, so what we're going to do is we want to create a most plane object. Um, it's in the MoGraph and it's called most plane. And this guy, if you set it to spline instead of simple, I think that's the way it is. You go to spline here and you go source spline and you drag your deformation spline into it. And you'll see now you can see this kind of outline of it. To make it more obvious, let's just increase the width here. So you can see this is the uh, spline that we created. And this spline, let's make it shorter. Let's make it like this long. And now we can use the offset to make it <laughs> run across it now. We do get this interesting kind of behavior from it. And the way you fix that is this spline that you have here, you want to go to your settings and you want to make sure the interpolation is set to uniform and maybe up these segments a bit. And now your offset will be also uniform. Also, we can make it a bit longer. There you go. And as you can see, we have this kind of spline which can run along this. And maybe you've figured out what we do now. Now what we do is we get our USB shell and we right click on it and Align to spline, and we put in our most spline there. Now we might want to have it at the end and tangential. And also, you'll notice how it's kind of aligning <laughs> with this edge. What we want is we want to actually let's press Alt G to put this in a null, and then just move this inner mesh up so that no, move this guy onto the null, and then move this mesh up so that it's lined up here. And this way its origin point is lined up to the end of it. So when we now move this offset, you see it moves together. And then we just get our cylinder, which is our cable, and we go spline wrap. Underneath, and we apply our most spline, we turn our spline again, and maybe change the direction to plus Z. And there you go. And now we have this with the offset, and we don't have any weird deformations on the head and the cable deforms. And the texture also is persistent because the length remains persistent. Um, oh. And as you can see now, as we move our most spline, we can see the length stays consistent. So if we get our cylinder and let's make it more regular squares, bigger. There you go. And now we can see that it doesn't deform, it stays persistent. Ta-da! And also we can apply it <laughs> before the ta-da bit. Also, you can apply this most spline out to any other spline. So if you create another spline, like if you have this flower spline or whatever it is, you can apply this most spline, just go to spline and go flower. And now, as you can see, we have the cable moving along the spline.
maybe the last line should be a bit bigger. Yeah, so very effective technique. Ta-da! And remember, if you need any more characters, we have a bunch of stuff on ace5studios.com. All these characters are animation ready, rigged, have materials, are fully customizable, and you can use them in your own commercial projects. We also have more stuff here, like some free rigs you can try out. We have character building kits. We have packs of simpler characters for infographics and infomercials and whatever it is you're making as kids. There's also some animals there, so go check it out. Won't be sorry.